Hello, welcome to my CryEngine 3 tutorial on how to create basic levels. Um, I'm going to show you how to create basic levels to start off with, apply the textures, and then I'll get in more in depth about AI, 3D modeling, and a lot more later on in the tutorial series that I'm going to do for the CryEngine 3. Most of these tutorials will be work will work for the Crisis uh, 2 editor. Um, so I hope um, this helps and I hope you um, learn a lot from this and let's get started. Okay, so first off, um, if you've got a good system, Swiss is the high. Um, but uh, if you want to, if you already done that, go to File, go to New. Um, I'm going to name mine Tutorial. And then I'm going to keep the height map the same. Oh, looks like I already got one named Tutorial. Um, so I'm just going to name this TU. T. Um, keep your height map at uh, what I have here in my settings and meters per unit at the same. Um, switch it bigger if you want to make a huger map, like a big city or something. Uh, but keep yours at the default settings as it pops up at. It's a lot easier. So give it a few minutes or a second or two, depending on your system, and it will load in a map, load in water, um, and a basic terrain under the water that we will need to rise later in just a few minutes, actually. So use the WAS and, w, a, S, and D keys to move around. Um, left click uh, places items and stuff. Right click, uh, hold it down. You can pan le up, down, left or right. Scroll wheel, scrolls up or down. Um, w and shift will move the camera faster. You can also go here to speed. Um, change the speed to whatever you want. Don't change it too high or you'll go flying and then you'll flying across the, uh, the area and you won't be able to come back to find this. You'll have to redo it over. So let's get started um, on creating a basic terrain adding in, and adding te multiple textures to the terrain. Uh, let's go up here to terrain. Um, you should see this. This is where we, this uh, is the water um, basically in a 2D texture where we can work on, work in our um, area. Go up here to very big brush, click it first. Then go down here to hardness, put it all the way to one, or simply just highlight this blue, type it one. So basically just create something in here, doesn't matter what. Uh, it's up to you what you want to make. If you want to just go off what I'm doing here. All right, so we really don't need to do anything fancy. Um, just um, notice uh, if I can show you here. These edges are very, very jagged. So we really want to change that. So just go to smooth, change your hardness to one like you did with the flatten. Go up here to very big uh, brush and just paint an outline of um, your terrain. Um, you'll notice uh, areas it'll get a thick black line around your terrain. Um, once you've smoothed it out enough, you can actually go back in here, smooth out more if you want to. It's all up to you how you want to smooth your terrain, uh, if you want to smooth it more. Um, now, if you see, we have a big uh, cliff here. Uh, I don't like having, um, I like having my water up at a reasonable level. So just go here to modify in the terrain editor, go to set water level. I had to keep mine between 40 and uh, 75. So you can experiment, but I'm going to take mine at 70. Just hit OK. And as you see, the terrain comes up, uh, uh, the water comes up with the terrain. Basically, we don't need this anymore right now until uh, later on in the second part or third part of the tutorial that I'm going to do. Um, so you're done here. Now we got a simple island. It's a pretty big island. I mean, if you lined it on there right now, you would probably not be able to see the water on the other side. But that's for later on, we'll show you. Uh, click on the texture here because we're going to apply a texture to the terrain. Go uh, click on this, make it orange. Um, click on here, click uh, change layer texture. Click here to terrain, go to detail, and then click on grass 3 diffuse. Um, this will pop up. You'll see like it's like static almost, um, but don't worry. You'll see in a minute what it will look like. Um, materials, click on this uh, blue. Uh, it'll pop up a new material editor. Click on materials. Uh, go down here to terrain. I like to uh, pick either the ground earth or the ground mossy. So I'm going to click ground mossy 4. Then I'm going to go over here, click assign material. As you see, ground mossy 4 coast pops up here. Basically now, um, I'm going to show you real quick uh, so we don't have to come back to this later. If you want to create multiple textures in a 
in uh, the ter terrain texture layer. Say if I want to create a, um, I want to create say a grass or a mud or sand. What I'll do is is I'll just type these in grass so I know what I'm working with so I know. Um, I'll just go here and add new layer. Um, I'll type this in as uh, sand. Hit OK. Um, basically just do the same thing. Um, go here, find uh, what you want. Um, pretty hard. I don't really, I'm not really seeing a sand texture, but uh, I know there is one in here. It's somewhere. They, they wouldn't, why would they not add a sand texture? It'd be kind of pointless, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you find a sand texture in here, um, surely use it. it. It's a good one. Most likely it is. Um, I'm just going to, it really doesn't matter what you use, so I'm just going to use a mud one to fuse. Um, just because um, I click here. Click on earth um, or whatever you want. Um, I think you can uh, you can edit these a little bit more. Um, make your own textures and see texture maps and import your own textures of sand, mud, whatever you want to do. Um, just click on it like, like you did before. Click on add there. And you can exit out both of these. Um, go here to the second um, box in the roll up menu. Go down to layer painter. Um, first off we want to do um, the ro radius so we want to make it a, a thousand so just pull it over as high as you can go. Um, click on your grass. Um, I want to make this uh, color as grassy color as we can get it. I like to go with a little bit darker color grass. Makes it more, you know, makes it a little bit cooler. Look a little cooler. Um, since this thing won't go over the entire terrain, you can just simply click. Um, it'll add, if you see white, just keep uh, clicking until you get rid of the white, depending on how you want, um, depending on how you want your terrain. To look. Okay, so that looks good. Um, if you look up at the, at the over the map, you'll see um, it's um, basically a, a low res texture of what we've applied. You can actually go down here and click on. Um, well, not, actually, excuse me, not click. You can just scroll down. It doesn't matter if you use W, A, S, and D keys. Mm, looks great. So now we want to take um, our brush down to mid level. Doesn't matter. You know, something like this that looks like it would go over this side. We can go down here to sand. We can go over here. Let's create a sandy, sandy texture uh, color, actually. And we can just click and drag, you know, just drag it across. And then we created a sand texture. Well, basically, it really isn't a sand texture. Because if we zoom in, it kind of looks like sand. But it just, you know, it would be better if we had a, a sand texture that almost looked like it was sand. There's probably a sand texture in here. It just, honestly, I haven't seen it. But they've got to add one if they uh, if they don't have one. So basically, this is all you need to know for right now. I will get into adding foliage and all sorts of things in the next tutorial. So this is um, Clone Trooper 163, and have a great day.